guys, welcome back to the History of Digimon Digital Monsters Season 1, Episode 32 of my show. And this is about episode, this is about episode 31. Now, I, before I actually start talking about it, you guys, I just want to mention to you, again, thank you for all your help and support on the series, and keep coming with the views and likes and stuff like that. And also, uh, this will be the last video I'll do until I, I'm going on a little trip, uh, this, uh, past, this weekend coming up, so this will be the last video I'll do until I get back from the trip. I'm going to Toronto for a Raptors game and stuff, so this is the last video I'll do until I get back. So, until I get back, this will be the last one I'll do, like I said. Okay, now uh, getting into the actual story of the episode and stuff. Oh, oh, and also, probably in the next video when I get back, before I start talking about the video, uh, the episode of the show that I'm going to talk about, I'm going to uh, explain to you guys how my trip to Toronto went and stuff like that. I just thought I'd get, I just thought I'd get that out of the way for you guys and stuff. I just wanted to get that out of the way. <laughs> okay, so now getting into the actual story of the episode. This is History of Digimon Digital Monsters, Season 1, Episode 32 of my show, but it's about Episode 31. Um, and this episode is uh, called in the English dub, it's called The Eighth Digivice. And basically what happens is at the start of the episode, uh, my old smile is talking to Dem Demimon on his fat, like, Microphone thing, he's saying, You say that you say those brass be Mimicmon and Gesselmon? And then Demi Demimon is like, What? How am I really even fumbling with you? Double double link of poops. And then what happens is after that, and and then what happens after that is, My uh, uh, Mario is asking um, Demi Demimon if he wants to join them. And he said, of and then he was like, of course not, boss. And then what happens is, after that, um, what happens after that is, my Danny Devimon grabs the little bad thing that he was talking to, to my oldest mind with, and he's like, hey, I my oldest mind rules. And then what happens is, after that, it, Ty and uh, Kawaramon are walking and walking and walking back to their apartment and stuff, and Koromon's wondering, like, he's hoping uh, Kari is over her, like, little nasty cold that she had, and, um, and then Ty's saying that he hopes so as well, and it's really weird, the last time, cause what, what's weird is, the last time they were in the human world, uh, Kari remembered what, about what happened four years ago, like, when he and Koromon came back, she knew Koromon's name is up, and then Ty's like, he's speculating that if his sister is the eighth digitizing child, like, he doesn't know for certain if she is, but he's kind of speculating that, and then what happens is after that, um, what happens after that is, when they get to their, the apartment, um, when they get to Ty's apartment and stuff, um, before they go into the apartment, there's a scene where Kari's talking with her parents, and they're wondering, and she's wondering if her, she's wondering if her grandmother is okay, and then her dad is saying that she took a bit of a nasty spill, that's all, and she has to stay in the hospital because he, she's not with that because he cuts into her tap, and then after that, Ty comes into the house, and then their his parents are excited to see. Uh, they're they're wondering why he's back so early. That's mainly because, like I said, time doesn't flow differently. It flows differently in the human world than it does in the digital world in the first season. I, like I said, and um, and then what happens is after that, I starts hugging his mom and dad, and he's happy to see them and stuff. I think that's mostly because. For most of the series, he was away from home up to the point where he got pulled through the dimensional rift, and then he had to go back. So that's just my personal opinion on it, guys. And um, 
and then after that, um, there's this scene where they're eating and stuff, and Ty starts eating all his food, and, and then there's another little scene where he's giving uh, some of his food to Coramine to eat, and then what happens is after that, <laughs> Ty is saying that, he, <laughs> that his mom's wondering, like he wants that he wants. She's surprised that he wants some more. He's like the third bowl already, and then he's saying that it's been a long time since he had any the cooking and stuff. And then what happens is she's wondering if like it, she's saying that if he's trying to butter her up for an allowance. Work. And then later on, um, when they get into the area where Kari and Tyler's bedrooms are, what happens is she's saying that Kari's saying that he she's glad he's back. He missed him while he was at camp. She missed him while he was at camp and stuff. And then she's then he's telling her that he missed her as well. And then she's and he's saying that does she remember anything specific about what happened back in Hidden View Terrace uh, four years ago? To, and he wants her to tell. And everything she knows, and she says that she remembers that Gormon got really big and fought with a giant bird monster. Now I, I'll explain later who the giant bird monster is. Like, uh, if you guys remember the video I did, uh, which was episode 30 of my show, but about episode 29, I stated that the, the they witnessed a Digimon battle. One of the and this is gonna sound kind of funny. But, like I said, this flying Digimon that, this is going to sound kind of funny, but the flying Digimon that they saw back then kind of took the appearance of a parrot. And, I'll, like I said, I'll explain more about who that is um, when I get to um, uh, the, my video for episode uh, 45 of season 1, which will probably be a short video. Um... Because the 45th episode is apparently it's only 19 minutes long. But I guess since it referenced it, I'll just explain a bit of who the flying parrot is. Uh, it's actually a bird-like Digimon called Parrotmon and stuff. I won't explain much about him for now. But I'll just explain to you, um, if you guys remember when I did the video with the, um, the character battle videos with the clips, I stated that they had witnessed the battle, like I said. And, and the parrot like Digimon, which was Parrotmon, was the second of those two monsters. I'll explain more about that later um, when I get uh, to the video for episode 45. Like, like the video for, I don't know what episode of my show that'll be, but about episode 45, which is a part of the Dark Master saga. I just thought I'd get that out of the way for you guys. And then Ty's saying that Cormon beat him. And. Tari is saying that that's something she'll never forget, and then uh, Cormon's saying that this sounds kind of strange, but does she have anything called a digivice, and then Ty shows her his, and Tari actually does have a digivice, but she doesn't, but she, at this point in the series, she has no memory of it. She does have a digivice, but as I said, at this point in the series, she has no memory of it and stuff. And then what happens is, after that, um, she says she doesn't think so, and then it goes to where the others are, it goes over to where Izzy is and stuff, and then after the time, the others fall asleep. And then what happens after that is, um, Ty, like, it goes to where Izzy is, and he's, uh, when he gets home, he's, his parents are like happy to see him and stuff, and then um, and then they're wonder they're also wondering why he's back so early and stuff like that. And then what happens is he said he makes a little joke about that. He says that the food was inferior, and that uh, that it snowed so camp was canceled, which is kind of funny, really. And then what happens is after that, um, they he manages to get into his room and get Tentamon up into his room through the window and stuff, and then he locks the doors, and then what happens after that is, um, what happens after that, he says his parents won't appreciate it, but 
he figures it's like the best way and stuff like that. And then what happens is after the And then what happens after that is he's saying like I said, he locks the doors and he's telling Tenma that he's um that he He's telling Tetamon that uh, his parents won't appreciate it, but it, 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 he thinks it's the best solution. And then Tetamon is wondering why, and he says that it, they, his parents probably couldn't comprehend his situation and stuff like that. And then what happens after that is um, later on. Uh, uh, <laughs> Then later on, while the doors are locked, his mom comes to the door and tells them that it's time for dinner and stuff. Like, well, actually, I should just mention something really quickly. Uh, Pantamon says that he doesn't understand humans at all, him being a Digimon, which is kind of good, which is kind of right, because, like I said, Digimon don't actually have parents. They're born from a Digi egg and stuff like that. I, I mentioned that when I did... Uh, the video for episode uh, 13 of my sh show, but about episode uh, 12, where I s where I stated with the with the primary village and stuff, I just thought I'd get that out of the way, and and then if he had this, uh, uh, then his mom is telling him <laughs> that it's time for dinner and. If he has anybody with him, he can bring them out to you because he thought he heard someone talking to him. And then, <laughs> then he starts freaking out and makes all these little beats. If, if you want to know what I'm talking about, check my original video that I did with the clips. I, it has a clip of Izzy doing that. So just if you want to, just check that video and you'll see what I mean. And then he's saying that it's for his new comedy act. He... <laughs> They are, he says that they're doing a power show at the convention center, at the children's center, and then we're going to win a new computer. And then he's saying that he tells jokes. And then early on, like early, little early on, back with uh, Ty at Ty's apartment, he's telling them uh, there's this little scene where their cat Miko is playing with the car he's digitized, and then later on, this other cat chases Miko around. And then what happens after that is, um, what happens after that is it goes back to where Izzy is and he makes these little jokes, which are really kind of funny and stuff. He said that, why was Newton surprised when he was hitting my head by an apple? And he's like, and he's talking to him, like, gee, I don't know why. He was sitting in a pantry. And then he's like, what's black and white and green? Two stones spiking over pickles. <laughs> oh my god. Those two jokes didn't so funny. And then he said that he's not really good. And then his parents are telling him that he, he was amazing. And his dad's saying that his boy's the comedian. And his mom's saying that she can't believe it's her son. And I'll explain more about Izzy's past stuff when I get to, I believe, it's episode. <sighs> 30, I believe it's uh, the episode for episode, I believe it's episode 38 of season 1 where we find out a, about the truth about Izzy's past and stuff, so when we get to that point, or it might be 37, I'm pretty sure it's probably 38 though, but I don't know what part of my show that'll be, but so one of the 30 sections, the, one of the sections of the 38 episode will probably, um, I don't know what episode of my show I'd be, but like I said, I when I get to that, I'll explain the the stuff. Um, and then is he saying that is it okay? So getting back into the episode I'm talking about, um, is he saying that is he telling his mom is, is it okay if he eats the rest of his dinner in his room? And then she says that she won't let him. She won't see him anything he doesn't want to. And then he says that he, he says that the way she cooks is gastronomically outstanding. And, and he, she, he appreciates everything she does and stuff. It's just kind of sweet, really. 
And then what happens is they let they let him take his food so he can feed ten of them on, and then and then and then later on, um, his mom saying that did she, did he hear what she what, did she, did they hear what she said? He said they appreciated him. And before I continue, there's like there's a little another flashback scene which kind of got referenced in my video about episode, which was episode 6 of my show, but about episode 5 where he heard, overheard his parents talking. I just thought I'd get that out of the way. Um, and now continuing on with it, uh, later on during the night, um, there's this, uh, then, it, then it, it, his computer starts acting up, and then what happens is after that, it, uh, then this little version of Jedi shows up, and he's saying that there's an unidentified Digimon in the bay. He's the only one that's still awake. And then what happens after that is, um, uh, what happens after that is he, he's telling Tenzin on that, and then they, they goes over to this area where he has a club called Club Poseidon, which is kind of funny. And and continuing on with it, he uh, he tries to phone Ty in the other's houses, and he finds out that they're all asleep. And then he's saying that. Yeah. It looks like everybody else is asleep, and then Tentamon's wondering if he should go to sleep as well. But he said that he can't because then I just told him that there was a unidentified Digimon in the bay, and he says that he is he telling Tentamon that he's ready to fight and stuff, and he says that he's with him, but um, that might he suggest that he wear a disguise so he doesn't attract any unwanted attention, which is kind of a real thing, and then. Uh, when he gets out of the house, they keep running and stuff, and then they, when they get to where the Digimon is, now this is going to sound kind of weird, but the Digimon that they're fighting is, but I'll just explain who the Digimon that they fight is. Uh, he's actually a, like a, a he's a sludge cover kind of Digimon. His real his name is Raremon, basically. Now what Raremon is, he's, he's actually, if you guys remember those Pogamon that I told you about, Back in episode 16 of my show, but about episode 15, um, uh, I should just mention, I know this is from, uh, season 4, episode, uh, I believe it's episode 2, maybe, uh, Pokemon is actually the rookie form, like, the pre-digital form of Raremon, I just thought I'd get that out of the way, and then, and Raymond's special attack in this first season is what's known as Breath of Decay, which is basically he shoots the, the sludge out of his mouth and stuff. And when his character bio shows up, Tentamon is saying that Raymond smells like rotting fish, and, and it's, not, it's something you never want to meet in the dark alley. And then what happens is Nico, uh, Ty and Kari's cat runs off with the Digivice, and then... And then, and then what happens is after that, Izzy Digivice activates, and then Tentamon says that, talk about bad timing, if they lose that signal, they're going to be, they'll never get it back And He tells Izzy that he searches for, that he should search for the, for the, for the eight child, while he deals with those sewer breaths, which is where I'm on, and he says that he just hopes that it's Think is contagious and stuff, and then it goes to the scene where they're digivolving, uh, and Tentamon digivolves to Kabuterimon, and then he starts fighting him, and then Kabuterimon, then Raymond uses his Breath of Decay attack, which I should just quickly mention it. Um, in season four, um, Raymond's special attack, which which is called Breath of Decay in this episode, is actually called. Acid sludge. I thought I'd just get that out of the way. And what happens is after that, um, uh, Kabuterimon gets knocked into the water, and then while they're fighting in the water, um, uh, he manages to defeat uh, Ramon, and then Demi Demimon shows up, and then Demi Demimon gets scared away by by Kabuterimon, and then. The, this news reporter shows up and then he sees Kabuterimon flying in the sky and he thinks that he's still got a giant flying cockroach. <laughs> and then what happens after that is after that, uh, Izzy is saying uh, that he, they should give Ty an update on their situation. And then it goes to the, 
where they're housed, and, and then they're in the house and stuff, and after that, uh, Ty is uh, wondering what is he called about when he got back, um, and then Ty digivice acts up as well, and then he runs it off, and then Tari sees her own digivice in the sky, and then she says, what a pretty star, and that's basically where the episode stops, so if you guys like this video on YouTube, just please give it the real best you guys can, and I'll see you guys on what I get back from my trip, so keep it digital, guys.